Hey, what's up guys? I'm C Love and this is the Tensegrity model. Now I didn't build this one for the government, so I'm gonna show you how I did it. Come on, let's take a look. I'm sure there's a lot of different ways that this thing can be built, but this is how I did mine. Uh, I saw somebody else's video and it looked too neato to not try. Uh, I wanted to show you guys and hopefully make it a lot easier for you than it was for me. So let's start off with some wood and make sure to cut it like this so you can minimize your waste. I've got two different types of wood here, popcorn and pine, and I'm using three quarter inch square, 36 inch long dowels. And here are your materials. It's pretty easy to get started. To be honest with you, I don't even know if there's a mathematically correct way to do this. I just started cutting. If you have a miter saw, it's gonna be a whole lot easier. You're gonna need six pieces that are all the same length with 60 degree cuts on each side. Make sure triangle bases. Um, I made all of mine six inches and then these are five inches. You're gonna want, a, I, I, I'll put a 30 degree cut right here and that will make your upright. I'm gonna be using three different size drill bits here. The smallest is gonna be for your string and your screws. That's gonna go all the way through on your upright. Next size is gonna be for your knot heads. Uh, open it up a little bit so that they sit in there nice and flush. And a little bit bigger size is gonna be for your screw heads. So you can set your screws in there just a little bit without splitting your wood. I wasn't nearly as excited as I should have been going into this project because I didn't know how truly mind-blowing the result would be. After I finished the first one and showed a couple friends, I knew it was gonna be a mega hit, so I built the jig so that I could build several of them for friends, family, and subscribers. If you have a little bit of extra wood laying around that you can build you a jig, it'll make it a whole lot easier to secure your bases. And let's take a look at where you're gonna drill your hole for your strings right here. Take a moment and mark the places where you're gonna drill the holes for your strings. If you don't pre-drill all of your holes, you're gonna pay for it. And if you have a drill press, it'll make it a lot easier. If you use a hand drill, you might go up your, hole, your holes like I did this one. You definitely don't want that. Again, make this hole a little bit wider so when you tie your string and knots, you have a place to sit it down in there so it will sit flush. Once you've got your upright secure, you're gonna to wanna to set your string in the middle. This will make it a whole lot easier later. Now, you don't want it too far away and you don't want it too close. Just gonna kinda of eyeball it. I'm gonna put it about right there. So you got your knot set in one of your uprights and just kinda of eyeball it. See about how long you want it to be and, and mark your string and tie your knot on the inside of that dot. Finish setting the string on your uprights and your base and get ready for a surprise. Here's a bonus time saver. Make sure and cut your string long enough that you can tie it together way up here. This will make it easier to mark your string where you need to tie three knots. Thanks for the gloves, Mike. I couldn't have done this project without you. If you're still here, go on and leave me a comment. I'd really love to hear from you. Now, this part isn't a whole lot of fun, but it's definitely worth the time. Use your little baby level and hopefully you can get it looking the way you want to uh, after building multiple many of these things each one of them had their own personality so I would not expect to get this thing hundred percent level 
Also, here's another bonus. Make sure and make your upright as long as one of the sides on your base. This will make this thing even harder to believe. So I've been working on this one for a little while. I'm getting pretty close. So I'm gonna go ahead and slow it down for you here. You can see I haven't cut the excess off of my string and hopefully this will provide me, you know, a little wiggle room so uh, I can get it looking a little closer to the way that I want it to. Once I'm happy, uh, go ahead and speed it back up and cut off the excess one at a time and put glue in there and go ahead and set your strings. Let them sit there with the wood glue for uh, about two hours should be good. And we're pretty much there now. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for the Tensegrity model. I uh, really appreciate you taking the time to watch my videos. Give me a like if this helped you out. And make sure and share it with the woodworker in your life. Stay tuned. I've got another video on the way.